Humans of the Cardboard, uh, a new Noble Knights or Noble Arms card slipped through the cracks. That's my fault. I apologize for that, but um, we're going to get it right here. I want to make sure I cover this and I want to make sure everybody sees this because I do think this is relevant. I mean, this is this is uh, technically support for an archetype that uh, since Duelist Nexus came out has kind of climbed up as like one of the higher... Um, you know, rogue decks of the format. Um, I actually think it's quite a decent deck, uh, especially if you ask my boy Charles. But uh, today we're not talking about that. We're talking about this brand new card and, and to see if it actually could have something to do with that new deck and how much it actually helps. Let's take a look. We already talked about the new Time Thief card. We already talked about the new Spiral Double Agent card. Really interesting cards for those themes um, for sure. But let's take a look at Camelot, Realm of Noble Knights, and Noble Arms. This is a field spell card. This card reads, once per turn, if a Noble Knight card or cards you control would be destroyed by battle or card, excuse me, card effect, you can destroy one equip card you control instead. Destruction protection on your Noble Knights, not terrible, but still not an amazing protection effect. It's just nice icing on the cake kind of effect. Second effect, during your main phase, you can banish this card until the next standby phase. And if you do, place one Noble Knights of the Round Table from your hand, deck, or graveyard face up in your field zone, then you can special summon an Artorigus monster or add to your hand one Noble Arms card from your deck or graveyard. Wow, uh, you can only use this effect of Camelot once per turn. So, uh, Interesting pieces about this card. To resolve this card, it appears that you have to play and resolve the effect to get round table out. You cannot play this without round table. Otherwise, like if you don't place round table, then you can't even attempt to get the other effect to get an Artorias or a Noble Arms card, which is kind of a bummer because I think the one weakness of this card is that round table is not great, I think. So let me read round table real quick. During your end phase, you can activate each of these effects up to once per turn, depending on the total number of Noble Knight cards with different names in your graveyard and or you control. If there's three or more, you can send a Noble Knight card from your deck to the graveyard. Okay. Uh, so you could send something like, um, is it Roland? The one that uh, on end phase, like if it's been sent to grave, it like gets you a recovery effect. That's not the worst. Six or more, you can special summon a Noble Knight monster from your hand. Then you can equip a Noble Arms Equip spell from your hand to that monster. That's so bad. You have to pull two cards out of the hand. And nine or more, uh, target a Noble Knight monster in your graveyard. Add that target to your hand. Okay. And if there's 12 or more, draw one card. Wow, this card is not good at all. <laughs> okay. Um, so that seems to be the downfall of this card, in my opinion, is that you have to play a round table, and round table just doesn't really do much. I would almost rather not play round table at all if it would allow me to re resolve the rest of this effect, because then this card just says, like, go ahead and add a Noble Arms, or it's like an e telly for just an Artorigus. Um, I think the only main deck Artorigus, unfortunately, is the Vanilla. But, you know, if you only had to play one of it and this card was super searchable, then, like, I guess you could get access to it pretty easily as, like, a just free extension from the deck. But, yeah, I think this card's more of a lore card, more of a fun, like, pure Noble Knight kind of support card, but not so much for, like, the Invernoble higher-end competitive version of the deck. So that's where I would leave that there. I think it's a fine card, but not... Just not great for what we uh, what the competitive side of the deck is looking for. The other two cards I already covered. Check that video out if you haven't already. Sorry I didn't include these all in the same video. I saw the first two first and covered them and then unfortunately didn't see about this card until after. But here it is. Just want to get it out to you. Let me know your thoughts down below. If you think this card is better than I'm giving you credit for, please let me know in the comment section down below. But I am out of here for today. Thank you so much for watching as always. Subscribe for more stuff from your boy down the line. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.